Hello, hello, Bream Pilot back with another review video, or rather a review, redo video of my Pan Am 737-200. The reason for this redo is to get a bit of a better quality look at the model itself. Without further ado, let's get to it. So we've got a Gemini J, um, made by Collect for Collectors by Collectors, Box Art, Pan Am Livery. And then we have the back, the box decoration, airliner climbing, it's really good get stuff, does have a business, 2016 mold I believe, 2016. And we got all the stuff here, huh? concerning the airliner, we've got the, so this is a Bonesman 37222, planes registration is November 6th. 7 Alpha Foxtrot plane powered by the JTHD 7B engine. Plane was built in, in 1969 but delivered only to Pan Am in 1982. It's got a range of about 900 miles and a passenger capacity of a few hundred. I've made a review about the 737 200 before, so check it out for more info. Without further ado, let's get to it. So we've got our little eyebrow windows, we've got the nose cone detail, windshield wipers. The eyebrow windows on this model are very thick, we can see some sensor details. Got the L1 boarding door, and we got the Pan Am livery, and we've got this uh, Clipper Templehof underneath the windows. The plane's name is Clipper Templehof. Got some overwing emergency exit, no wings and lights. Then we got the engines with some detailing on them. Got the red wing tip light. Got some antennas on this one. The back of the airliner. We have the registration. November 6, 7 Alpha Foxtrot. Got the uh, R2 boarding door. We got the Pan Am livery with the American flag on the tail. And if we go this way, we have about the same thing here. I've got the little eyebrow window, the windshield wipers, no kind of detail. And now we can see 167 on the nose doors and the um, FAA approval for ETOPS. We've got the L1 door, catering door, or boarding door, whichever. Got the clumper tip of off. We do have some ring details on all the windows, by the way. Just can see it on the other side. See the cargo door? A bit of lighting detail, but I don't think it's got light anymore. Got the overwing emergency exit, detailed engine, and the wingtip lights. Then at the back, we've got the ruined cargo door, and we've got the registration November 6 there. It's an Alpha Foxtrot. Got the L2 door, got some APU shaft right here but the end is the same livery design back on the tail so if we go take a look at underneath now we got our main gear these do not roll because they never made rolling gear for the 732 by the way got the some sensory details and also a little bit of an antenna We've got the forward cargo door by the way and we've got the Gemini Jet logo, which is a bit smudged. I had this jet for a while, and it's a second-hand airliner, by the way, so what do you expect? Got the, we've got the landing gear details, some details under the wings and on the engines. On the rearward, we can see the cargo door, the rearward cargo door, APU door, and the APU. I had to fix some wear and away details with a permanent marker. I don't really have silver paint, but that's my way of fixing some light paint damage to my models. I want to give a quick shout out to Champion Uz. I think you should really check out his channel. Also, have a nice day, and I have moved back into a permanent residence, so this thing is back. Hurrah. Please like, subscribe, um, look forward to the future, and if I can get to 50 subs, I'll do a review of a model Concorde. Bring Pilot out.